you all must have had a cold drink on a hot summer day and have seen the fizz coming out of the bottle do you know which reaction is occurring here let's see here cold drink is decomposing yes it is how here is the answer when you open a fresh cold drink the fizzing that occurs is the result of a decomposition reaction in cold drink there is a component called as hydrogen carbonate which decomposes into water and carbon dioxide and as a result of this carbon dioxide fizz is producing now if we write this reaction in a generalized form it will look like this ab gives a plus b what is happening here here a compound ab is splitting into simpler substances that is a and b such reactions are called as decomposition reactions so how can we define a decomposition reaction yes reactions in which a single compound splits into two or more simpler substances under suitable conditions such reactions are called as decomposition reactions it is the opposite of combination reactions in combination reaction two or more reactants give a single product while in decomposition reaction a single reactant gives two or more products let us do an activity to understand decomposition reaction take about 2 g of ferrous sulfate crystals in a dry boiling tube note the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals they are green in color now heat the boiling tube over the flame of a burner observe the color of the crystals after heating you must have noticed that the green color of the ferrous sulfate crystals has changed to orange but children you can also smell the characteristic odor why are we able to sense some smell what is the reaction behind it let us see the chemical equation of the reaction for this in chemical equation feso4 is decomposing into ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide as you rightly observed from the chemical equation that ferric oxide is solid while sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide are gases so the smell which we were able to sense was due to sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases now breaking of bonds is the major phenomenon in the decomposition reaction and hence it requires energy to break the bond depending on the nature of energy used there are three main types of decomposition reaction which we will see in the next video